Hello, I am Ferris Pilot, and today we're playing the demo version of Black Closet, aka Lesbian Student Council President Simulator. Now, apparently it's telling me that I've seen the tutorial before, so we can skip it, but I'm not going to skip it because, well, you guys haven't seen this before. Miss Talmage says, welcome to your new office, Elsa. I guess we're named Elsa now? Probably because of Disney, huh? As Student Council President, everything belongs to you. For now. Ho ho ho. For now, what does that mean? Don't get complacent! because we were acting like a jerkintosh. The privileges of your position come with a great deal of responsibility. It is your duty to manage the students' bodies <laughs> and prevent scandals while maintaining their beliefs in your good nature. If you are too aggressive, then the karma of the student council will be damaged and your classmates will no longer obey you. Because all we demand from our classmates is obeisance. If you let them get away with everything, then the reputation of the school will be damaged. Oh no. Can't be that many scandals, can there? Do you really have so little idea of what you're getting into? No nice words here, Elsa. This school is in peril. We have enemies who would like nothing more than to smash this ivory tower to rubble. And scandal is their greatest weapon. If St. Claudine falls, every graduate, every board member, every good traditional family will be tarnished. The school board will do what may must to defend themselves. Does that mean that good families that are not traditional will not be tarnished? If so, that's not such a bad outcome, right? As student council president, you are their designated scapegoat. Your family background, you are not old power. You're a talented upstart and nothing more. If disaster looms, you are the perfect sacrifice for the greater good. Man, we're just we're just a young upstart trying to make our way in the world. These old power families, they're, they'll expel me to save themselves. You will take the blame for every failure this school has ever faced unless you succeed. If you do your job and defend the school, there will be no need for a sacrifice. Fail as president and you will be expelled, unable to achieve a place in a decent university. Oh no! If I don't get into university, my life will be ruined! Your future will be ruined before it even begins. But keep things running smoothly and your time at St. Claudine's will be a benefit to your resume. Oh, man. I like how absurdly powerful the student council president is. Of course, you will have the rest of the student council to assist you. A commander never gets her own hands dirty. You will need the skills of your minions to handle their caseload and find the truth behind the rumors. One of your minions is a traitor. Oh, no. How do you know that? Which one? We don't know. One of them is working against you and will intentionally fail her assignments whenever possible in the hopes of causing scandal and bringing down the school. Why would she want to do that? You must determine which of your minions cannot be trusted or she will destroy you. Spend time with them. Socialize. Even socialize? Oh no. All right, let's get started with this shit. She leaves your, the office, your office, a symbol of your power, of the expectations others have placed upon you. Will you live up to those expectations or surprise them all? I like how she's making the Ikari Gendo, like, <laughs> a finger bridge shit. Like the student council president is so powerful. When you reach the student council office, Vaughn is already waiting for you. Ah, there you are, Elsa. Wait, what? She called me Elsa? That's really, really weird. Because the first time I played through this, she called me Captain. Does that mean that she's a traitor? What the hell? That's really weirding me out. Holy shit. Everything is in order. One of the chairs had a rip in the cushion. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> Very good. Carry on. Hi, Captain. Oh, she did call me Captain. Okay, cool. <laughs> Why are you calling me Captain? You don't remember. Captain rolls off the tongue more easily than Madam President, don't you think? There's a sound at the door. It must be the office other officers. It's Thias. Oh, God. Look at that makeup. To tell Elsa that she has to... Oh, you're already here. And what were you going to tell our president? Well, I don't mean to be rude, Vaughn, but all things considered, it's not right that you are vice president when my big sister is so much more qualified. <laughs> really? I don't want the job. You don't want to be president, that's fine, but you deserve... Thais, I'm not interested. You're a natural leader, and she has the personality of a secretary! Vaughn was elected, end of story. Oh, fine. Be stuck in your dusty old ways. Youth will overcome, you'll see. I mean, how old are... Like, there can't be more than, like, a three or four year gap between <laughs> between their ages. They're all in high school, right? The door opens again. Um, hello, is, is this the student council room? Uh, are you lost? Do you need help? I, I don't know. I was looking for the student council. Well, then you found us. Oh, good. I'm Mallory. I'm the hospitality officer. 
All right, new girl. Look at that smirk. Th this game has the best fucking smirks, by the way. These girls look evil as fuck. Especially that teacher. Be respectful to this young lady. It's your first year on the student council, too. Yeah, but I've been at this school since kindergarten, and she's just started as a freshman. What a jerk. Well, I think it's lovely to see some new faces. Ah, uh, thanks. It's a pleasure to meet you, Mallory. It's nice to meet you, too. I look forward to working with all of you. Aren't we missing someone? What about Rowan? She's already here. Dot, dot, dot. Where did you come from? The hallway. <laughs> oh, Rowan. You're so silly. Pays to be observant. <laughs> now that your minions are assembled, it's time to open your case folders and see what this week has in store. Monday, September 5th. New case number 001. The precious headband belonging to Olivia has vanished. Locate and return the headband. Olivia last remembers seeing it in either her room or the auditorium. Also, both Mabel and Tayana were admiring it recently. All right, let's go beat up Mabel and Tayana. Uh, you know what? Stalking has never really worked for me in the past, but I mean, I can try and stalk them. We use Ro. Uh, I should probably explain how this works. Okay, so see how these like four skills in the corner? There's this skill, which is like friendship or social. This is intimidation, the red one. Uh, this eye symbol is um, perception or something like observation and then this uh stealthy symbol is is stealth i don't know i don't know what else to explain and then each of these options has symbols as well so this one has two friendship this one has like an eye and then this one has a stealth so you want you want to pick the character with the highest skills in in these skills get it neither do i let's let's go send rowan out to stalk uh tyana stalking has never worked out for me in the past though so and not in real life, good lord. In the fucking game. Don't misconstrue what I said. Alright, let's see. Uh, we need to, uh, We can harass her. I mean, Thais is pretty good at harassing, but... Althea is like the best harasser, so we'll send her to harass... No, don't harass Mabel. Why would you harass Mabel? Harass Olivia. Okay, go. Uh, Mallory is gonna be our uh, closet wench. She's gonna go to the closet and get us some items. I always do that. You know what? No. We have so much stuff to actually explore, so... Well, you have good friendship and eyesight. What do you need to question? You need friendship, eyesight, and stealth. You know what? Why don't you go and, uh... Why don't you go and question Mabel? <clears throat> do that. And... We will send... I have no idea what Olivia's room and the auditorium are, so we'll send Thias and Vaughn both to inspect the auditorium. They have pretty decent, uh... Pr pretty decent eyesight together, so it should work. And... We're done here. Let's try this out. So it just rolls for the skills. Right, in, in this case, it's it's our stealth skill versus our observation, and we won because Rowan is really good at stealthing. Of course, we didn't actually get any information, so, man. Yeah, again, Althea is really good at intimidation and social, whereas Olivia is not. Why don't you stop picking on me and help me find my headband? Oh shit, it's your headband? Oh! I thought it was Mabel's headband. <laughs> oh well, whoops. <clears throat> we lost five karma out of that. Who cares about Olivia's stupid headband? This is suspicious. We now search Mabel's room. Got searched something in the auditorium. You don't find anything. It's too close to call though, that's why. Mallory's requested a private meeting. We shouldn't be bullying people. Ah! Out with it then, what do you want? Right, the student council has been We've been doing things in the student council recently, assignments that you've given me. Is that really how this is supposed to work? What do you mean? Well, this isn't what I was expecting. I thought everyone was really nice and stuff. I was looking forward to helping people, not to being a bully. Look, that was my mistake. I thought that girl was the girl who was the other girl. You know, I'm not perfect. We can't make an omelet without cracking eggs. Well, you're in charge, so I trust you know what's best. Thanks for seeing me anyway. Now that she's made her point, there is business at hand. All right. It's Olivia's headband. I'm sorry, Olivia. I, I didn't realize it was your headband. Wait. Okay, we need to search Mabel's room. That's based on stealth and, and, and eyesight. So, <clears throat> yeah, Rowan, you're going there. Uh, and Mallory. I mean, Rowan has the best stealth and eyesight out of everyone. I don't know if it, like, adds them together or if it just takes the best skill of everybody. So, I mean, I'm just going to send Rowan. We have a 94% chance to win, so it's pretty good. Sorry, Olivia. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, let's go and beat up Mabel this time. Probably, you know, we have a pretty decent chance to win. All right, Mabel, get fucked. Uh, and we should probably... We didn't learn anything from exploring the auditorium, so you know what? 
Why don't we just have uh, Vaughn go into the closet? No, Mallory is the closet. Closet. Wench. Let's go. Mallory, go into the closet. Uh, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, this, this the closet is, is a metaphor for the metaphorical closet in which the student council president currently resides. Uh, you know, it's, it's heavily layered in allegory. <laughs> Uh, let's go and, and question her. I don't really know what we have to do now. I'm pretty sure we'll find it in, uh, What's-Her-Face's room, but... Whose room was that? Mabel's room? You know what? We should probably... Maybe we should go beat up Tyana. Although, she has pretty good not getting beat up skill. So maybe we should just, like, stalk her? Yeah, yeah. Vaughn is gonna be pretty good stalking her. And we'll have Thias rest a little bit, because she seems tired. Yeah, get fucked. We, we quietly search Mabel's room and find literally nothing. Oh, we find, we gained five karma. We found the headband, but how did it get there? You may now detain, suspend, and exp expel Mabel. <laughs> I like how we're just like, fine, I admit it. Hey, we gained five more karma, sweet. And we got a star, we gained five skill training points. Go into the closet, and we got a sedative. Plus four versus plus no ten versus char. I don't know what that means. Rowan has just come into my office carrying a large box. Delivery from Icy Wiener. Ah oh, crud! What's in the box? She adjusts its position in her arms. One X bag of organic. I like how she's actually just listing out the <laughs> like all the stuff. It's basically coffee and, and tea supplies. Did she just read that off the packaging label? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. I should have invited her to have a cup of coffee, but you know what? Screw it. Uh, now we can train our characters. But I think I'm going to end the video here. This was the demo version of Black Closet. You can try it out for yourself in the link in the video description, and you can also buy the game for yourself if you're interested in the full version. Nice thing about having a demo, though, is you can actually see if you'll enjoy the product before you spend your money on it. Anyways, I'm not here to harp on you about your purchasing decisions. Thank you for watching the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.